In this lesson, we will learn how to build a data merging pipeline. This video walks you through exactly what you need to do, so you can create a Snowflake pipeline that merges new data into the target table. Let's get started. First, we are going to create a table. Go to your Snowflake UI, move over to the Classic Console and the Worksheet section. Open a new worksheet. Select the previously created warehouse, database, and schema in the top right of the UI. Note that your warehouse should be activated. Ensure that it is on. Run the following query. You can see that we have just built a table called Dino's Update that has three fields, Dino, Scariness, and Extra. In addition, we have inserted several values into our table. These values include the dinosaur's names, their scariness rating, and the extra field value. Now it's time to go to our data ops platform. Move over to Build and Pipelines. Duplicate the Snowflake pipeline you have created in the previous lesson. On the Duplicate Pipeline screen, change your pipeline name to Merging Pipeline and give it a description, My Merging Pipeline. Click Duplicate, and then click the duplicated pipeline in order to open it in the canvas. Now configure the Snowflake table origin. Click the Snowflake table icon, move over to the table tab and change the table name to Dino's Update. Next, delete the sort processor and connect the origin to the destination. Configure the Snowflake table destination. Click the Snowflake table icon. Proceed to the table tab. Ensure table name dinos underscore output as it is by default. And change the write mode to merge rows and table by condition. Ensure that the data drift enabled field is checked as it is by default. Move over to the merge tab. Enter dino into the list of merge keys. Specify the first entry. Set the when clause to when matched as it is by default. Set the match operation to update. Leave the additional match condition field empty. Now add the second entry to the merge configuration. Let's configure it. Set the when clause to when not matched. Select insert from the not matched operation menu. Leave the additional not matched condition field empty. Now we are ready to preview our pipeline to check that it runs correctly. Click the I symbol in the top right of the UI and run a preview. Observe the preliminary output below the canvas. We are going to run this pipeline as a job. Click check in in the top left of the UI. Specify the commit message, my merging pipeline, click publish, and select save and create new job. You may specify a description and job tags if needed. Keep the defaults. Finally, click start and monitor job. Once the job is finished, it's time to check the results. Go to the Snowflake platform and run the following command. Let's see all the fields from the Dino's Update table and run the following command to see our output. In total, our merge table should have one updated entry for Diplodocus and one inserted entry for Brontosaurus. Additionally, there should be a newly created extra field with values only for the merged records. There you have it. In just a few steps, you can build a snowflake pipeline that merges new data into the target table. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.